the same time. This will eliminate the four to six month retention time before you begin treatment. The 3D Lingual Arch will maintain your expansion as you start straight wire treatment and speed up your cases. Another useful way to use this appliance is after distalization or if you need to retract teeth and need good anchorage. If you have distalized the molars using a CD distalizer, the 3D Lingual Arch can be placed to hold your molars in their new position as you begin to retract the teeth and consolidate the space. The appliance will prevent the molars from drifting forward and simplify the mechanics of retracting teeth. Let's take a look at how to adjust the 3D lingual arch to upright molars and flare anterior teeth forward. I'm going to demonstrate two movements that can be done with the 3D lingual arch. The first one is uprighting a molar and the second one is flaring the anteriors forward. In order to upright a molar that is tipped forward, you'll use a bird beak instrument to open up the bend on the distal of the diamond. You do not need a large adjustment. A small amount will produce a large result. If this is a bilateral problem, you can only work on one side at a time. After you make this adjustment, insert the appliance into the slots. You'll need to force the adjusted side into position and this will produce the uprighting effect. See the patient in three to four weeks and make the same adjustment until the tooth has uprighted. The next movement is to flare the anteriors forward. This is a very effective appliance to do this. You'll need to make two adjustments to the diamond loops. This chart is available as a quick reference guide to help you achieve the movements you want. The idea is to make the appliance longer so when it's inserted you will put pressure on the anterior teeth to advance them. The first adjustment is on the bottom of the diamond loop. Use the bird beak instrument to open up the diamond. When you do this, the anterior portion of the appliance will go gingival. You'll need to make a compensating bend to level the wire. The wire should lie at the gingival margin in order to be the most effective. You can activate the appliance about one millimeter per side. If you make too large of an adjustment, you won't be able to seat the appliance. See the patient every three to four weeks to make another adjustment. This appliance can be worn with straight wire to push from the lingual as you pull.